complaining under your belt. How are you feeling about the squad so far? Yeah, very good. The the team is uh, responding to what we're trying to do in uh, in training, and uh, we are uh, working a lot uh, tactically on the things that we want to do it offensively and defensively. And of course, uh, some of the guys are. It's normal in the fir in the early days. Some of the guys are. Uh, faster to get into conditions some they they need more time and but uh, everyone is very i would say committed so i'm happy yeah you said the first day that you know everyone came hungry they were yeah. excited do you still see that with the week coming on everyone's still pushing to their limit yeah 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 i see that and every time that we do mm, any exercise you know i think everything what we try to do is everything that involves also a little bit of competition there and also all the exercise that we do it's Everyone is uh, wants to win, even the little game, the little possession that we do, and uh, that's the right mentality. And uh, uh, it helps a lot that uh, you know the core of the group is the same as last year. So the few guys that are new, the other guys are pushing them. So I'm 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 really happy about it. That was going to be my next question. The new faces on the team. What have you? What can you say about them? Has anything surprised you or anything like that so far? No, oh, it's good. Again, uh, we have the this draft pick that uh, uh, they are uh, having, uh, of course, a very good experience. It's like uh, I th I thought it could have been uh, harder for more for most of them, but they are actually responding very well. So what we do this week, we we'll alternate them to work with us and with the second team because we want to see also how they are in comparison with uh, the player that we have in our, in our second team. And uh, for the, I would say, the, the MLS player, the new MLS player that I consider two, uh, li uh, because I consider Pedro a, a new faces, because he's, uh, uh, they're doing very well. Both Tristan and Pedro, they're doing, they're doing really well, and uh, uh, I think they're going to be helpful for the team, for sure, for the, for, for the season. Coach, we were just talking to Tristan. Where do you envision using him this season? Maybe right center back, maybe right wing back, maybe even goalkeeper. Uh, <laughs> no, you know, you, uh, I think it's a it's a wide center back, and uh, you know everyone needs to be ready to play everywhere. You've seen yesterday the the Africa Cup with the guy who played in goalie and is uh, like a right winger or something, but. Uh, we, I see Tristan to be one of the two uh, wide center backs, so we will be in the mix uh, with all the other guys that we have at the moment. Yeah. And goalkeeper, you uh, just loaned Evan Newton yep. out today. Uh, how is that going with just one guy signed to a contract? Do you hope maybe the team will have more goalies? No, have we hope. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be sure that uh, <laughs> the go, the, the the team will have more goalies. So before the start of the. For the start of the season, we will add uh, uh, another goalkeeper. So I know that the, the club is working on it, and uh, uh, we just try to find the, the best option for us. And uh, I, I think that uh, another one is enough in the sense that as a number three, I like to have one of the young guys up and coming, and uh, that be maybe playing in the second team and, and working with us. So, but we surely need. Uh, another goalkeeper to to have two first team goalkeeper with Thomas. You haven't wrapped uh, Thomas in bubble wrap yet, but how is he adjusting to the more of a workload in practice and being that number one goalie now? Well, you know, at the moment his, his life is the same as before because in practice uh, everyone works like uh, he's a number one. So, uh, of course, now mm, with uh, Maxim that uh, that went away. Thomas uh, has to fill bigger shoes and go in bigger responsibility. But we know that uh, uh, we 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 are we wanted him to do it uh, sooner or later. So that's uh, now it's up to him to to respond. But at the same time, I want to say that uh, it's not that uh, someone goes away and someone becomes a different person. So Thomas is a very good goalkeeper. He was a very good goalkeeper last year, but he's still young. So. Uh, we'll need to treat him like a development goalkeeper, like he is. Talking to just like Tristan, uh, that that center back position has really evolved over the last five, maybe seven years. Yeah. You can't you can't just have a guy six foot four stand in the middle who wants nope. to head the ball out. So it, so how are his, how do his attributes uh, look? 
up in your system? Well, the thing is that we play with the back three and we play with uh, guys that if you play on the side of the back three, you need to be uh, fast enough uh, to cover ground outside and you need to be good in uh, driving the ball forward because you're the first uh, builder of the team. Yeah, we, if you look at also us last year, uh, most of the time it was Flo and Jake when they were playing or Eric when he was playing side center back, even Guti when he played side center back who were the first uh, builder of the team. So that's the, the attribute that we look in a, in a, in a wide center back and uh, he has it to be honest because he's fast, he can cover ground and he's, he's quite good technically. So that's the reason why we, we picked him. That's, that's the reason why we, we scouted him and we, we decided to bring him in. Um, Brian White came back in for, I think it was his missed the first goal or two, I think. Did you see him now? How does he look to you? Uh, very good. Like, uh, you know, it's, uh, Brian is a guy that, uh, he's a worker. He's, he really puts 100% uh, for the team. Of, at the moment, he's not 100%. So we need to pull him off a little bit from the training because, uh, of course, he, he's having a plan that uh, is going to hopefully bring him to be 100% when we're going to be in San Diego and we start playing games. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I saw him like uh, like the way that, that uh, I left him. So, very good. He seems like he's really fit in here with the team. The fans are taking to him. How important is all of that to make a guy feel comfortable and help him perform to his best? It is very important. I think that we have a fantastic group of players here, fantastic team that uh, uh, and the fact as I said before that uh, we build that chemistry and we didn't change too much uh, it helps any any other player that come from another environment like Tristan for example to, to I would say get at ease very very easily and very fast because the group is already here welcoming and there's a clear set of uh, I would say rule, I don't want to say rule, culture. There's a group culture that is very well established.